The Christingle tells us a story, a story of hope and light. It tells us the story of the Gospel. Let us pray through each element of the Christingle together and remind ourselves of the wonderful good news of Jesus. It all begins with an orange, a sphere representing the world. This world that God created, full of beauty and wonder. But, just like an orange, this world is not perfect. There are lumps and bumps and all kinds of imperfections. Every day we see the imperfections of this world, in the tragedies that we see in the news, in the selfish decisions that people make, even in the mistakes that we make in our own lives and the people we hurt. Take time to say sorry to God for the things that you have done wrong. Bring them before him and ask for his forgiveness. Pray for those who have been hurt by your actions and by the actions of others. Ask God to be with them and comfort them. All of these imperfections began because Adam and Eve, the very first humans, at the very beginning of the Bible, turned away from God. When they did this, sin entered the world and they were separated from God. But God saw this and he had a plan. He sent his son Jesus to be born as a baby in this imperfect world. The next part of our Christingle is the red ribbon that goes around the orange. And it is this red ribbon that tells us the important story of Jesus. Because the same Jesus whose birth we celebrate at Christmas died for us. Jesus came to earth at Christmas as part of God's plan to save us. Because he loved us so much that he didn't want to be separated from us. That baby Jesus grew up and he taught people about God. He healed people. He showed them how to live their lives. And then he died on the cross to pay the price for all the things that we have done wrong. That's why this is a red ribbon, as it reminds us of Jesus' blood, that he loved us so much he died for us. Let us take some time to praise and worship God for the gift of Jesus and all that Jesus has done for us. Reflect on all that Jesus achieved here on earth, the miracles that he performed, the people that he healed, and ultimately his sacrifice for us, dying on the cross. Reflect and respond with praise. The next part of our Christingle is the four sticks topped with sweets or fruit. These goodies represent all of the wonderful things that God has created and that he has given to us. What is your favourite animal? Your favourite place? Your favourite food? Your favourite season? All of these things God has created. Thank him for his creation, the beauty that we see all around us. Thank him for the mountains and the rolling hills. Thank him for the sunshine, wind and snow. Thank him for the plants, the edible and the beautiful. Thank him for his generosity in creating all of these things. The next part of our Christingle is the candle. And this candle represents Jesus, the very best gift that God has given to us. We reflected earlier on the red ribbon representing Jesus' death for us. But just three days later, Jesus rose again. He came back to life. And this candle represents the hope and light that this brings to all of us. Because when Jesus came back to life, he defeated death so that all of us can live with God forever, no longer separated from him by sin but reunited because of Jesus. 
But a candle alone doesn't complete our Christingle until it is a light. As Christians, we are called to be a lamp, sharing God's light with the world. Take time to ask God to direct and lead you as you seek to share his light with the world. Ask him to reveal opportunities to you. Ask for the courage to share that light. Ask for the right words to say and the wisdom to know when to speak. Pray for God to show you who he is calling you to share his light with and pray for them that they will receive the light and come to know God. Now we have our Christingle, an orange showing us the imperfections of our world, a red ribbon reminding us of the blood and sacrifice of Jesus, sticks of fruits and sweets representing the gifts that we have received from God, and the candle shining brightly and showing us how we can share light with the world.